In this video, let's learn how to daisy chain. Daisy chaining is good for uh, taking a lot of rope and uh, kind of coiling it up nicely uh, so that it unravels nicely as well. Uh, so to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to make a loop. We've been calling this Bob in other videos. Here is Bob, um, our bite of rope. And the first thing we want to do is create um, a noose knot. To do that, we pulled the running end, excuse me, standing end through our uh, loop. And so you can find that in other videos. But now that we have our nice uh, noose knot, we're going to take our standing end, we're going to create a bite, another bob, and we're going to stick bob uh, into the other loop that we had from the beginning. We're going to stick him through like so and pull him through. And that gives us yet another loop. Now we're going to go back to our standing end again and we'll make another bite, another bob, and we'll stick bob into bob. Don't even go there, that's weird. And back in he goes. Pull it through. And we're going to continue to repeat this process until we have eaten up all of the rope. Now I'm doing it really slowly uh, so you can kind of see how it's done. Um, I'm also making the loops kind of on the bigger side. You can make them as small or as big as you want. If they are smaller, it will look nicer, but you can just keep daisy chaining this all the way through. Now, let us assume we've reached the end of my rope. I've got a lot of rope to go, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna leave one end kind of open, and if we take that standing end and, let's flip this around, if we pull it, this entire chain should simply come undone, so you can take your coiled up rope and very quickly access the entirety of it. And that's how you daisy chain. So once more, we're going to make our uh, loop here, and we're going to make a noose by taking your standing end and putting it through the loop there. Pull that through. So um, the structure is an overhand that has been slipped with the standing end, thus creating the classification of a noose knot. Then we'll take our standing end, make a bite, stick that bite into the other bite, pull it through, rinse, and repeat. And that's how you daisy chain. And then it should just come all undone.